Are you ready? <laughs> We're going into it. Say hello yes. to the people. Speak. <laughs> Boy. All right. Hey, guys. How's it going? <laughs> We're just going to give you an update on what's been happening because our life's been pretty crazy with all the things that's been happening. Um, so, first off, our plan was to stop here for around Christmas and spend time with our family, but we've yep. just had problem after problem. We've had so many problems with our van. So, what was the first problem that we had? Um, well, yeah. So, when we were – we packed up everything ready to hit the road again – and we drove to my brother's to say goodbye and then our car just lost all power and went into limpo mode. Yep, the engine light came on. So I thought we'll get that back home and have a look at it back in tea gardens. And I got like a little computer I can plug into it. Some codes came up. Um, they're pretty generic codes. So it didn't fully give me the answer. Anyway, I yeah. thought it was the turbo. I pulled the turbo out. Yeah. I'd made a you mistake. You spoke to that guy Yeah, I, I spoke to a guy I know that works at Mercedes. I tested Jesus. a few things. I thought, oh yeah, this is oh, yeah. like, it's looking like it could be a turbo. So yeah, I pulled it out. Uh, saw there was nothing wrong with it. Um, so ended up putting it back in. And when I was putting it back in, I cut my foot open it sliced all up in between my toe it was disgusting yeah um, i can show you some photos don't and stuff. don't show the photos <laughs> and then what happened after that we so oh yeah so then i had to wait for my foot to heal it couldn't get stitches or anything because it was like right in between the toe yeah and um and then i think mum and dad accidentally smashed our back window oh that's right we were out for a walk and we came home and they'd been mowing and whipper snipping and then they're like mum's like oh we've <laughs> smashed your car or something like that and i was like oh no and everybody's like what and i was like oh she's just joking and then mum's like no she I'm wasn't not joking, joking. And, just then, and that was that. that was supposed so that was about a week before our farewell. We had a little farewell. Yeah. And then we had our farewell and then I was like, All right, I've got to find what's actually wrong with this car. So I was doing more research and I was having a better look at things and I actually found there was um another guy who had the same codes as me said that the inlet manifold bolt, one of them particularly snaps. But to get to the inlet manifold is a huge mission. Yeah. And I was just like I don't know, I checked everything else. I was like, this has got to be it. So I started ripping everything apart and it was so hard to get to. There was so much shit I'd take out apart. And it um, was raining like basically oh, yeah. nonstop this whole time as well. So because the van's so big, we couldn't park it under cover or anything. We did have like a little umbrella for him, but there was a lot of days where it was just so heavy rain that he couldn't be out there. Like Yeah, so anyway, yeah, we anyway. had a lot of bad luck. We, and, I, and I got to this and I was like, oh my God, yes, the bolt was snapped. So I was like, this is it, this is the problem. So the bolt had snapped off inside the side of the engine block and I was had to drill it out. So I was like, all right, at least I've got somewhere to go now. So yeah, I was, I was like, this could be a huge pain in the ass. But yeah, at least it was somewhere to go. So I used an easy out and I drilled a hole in the center of the bolt and I easy out the bolt and it actually came out like butter. I was really lucky. Yeah. Um, could have been heaps worse. Mm. So then I got uh, I had to go to Mercedes, get the torque specs for the new inlet manifold. Yeah. I got the new inlet manifold put in, put it all back together um, one step at a time. It was a pain in the ass, but I got all that done. Yeah. So then we were like, all right, sweet. Everything was running. I was I had to drain the coolant to do it because there was hoses and stuff in the way. So when I blowed it all up and road tested it, I came back and there was coolant leaking. And I was like, shit. So what is it this time? So then... Another thing. <laughs> another thing. This was, this was nuts. So it was just like the coolant drain plug. It's got an O-ring on it when it slides in and out the drain... The drain... The, the radiator. <laughs> it had just deteriorated because it was old. And yeah. I, that's, I had to use it to drain the radiator. So then I was like, ah. Oh. So it's not... It's pretty easy to replace, but yep. I had to get one from Mercedes. So we drove to Mercedes to get one, which is about an hour and a half or so away. Drove back... It's like a $20 plug, put it in, fixed it. And then um, it was like a day later, it started making this tick, 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 like <laughs> this, this annoying noise. Oh. And we checked, popped the bonnet and it was the tensioner for the belt. It's got like a serpentine belt on it. And the tensioner was just like, was tick, 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 just Only rattling its head off. I was like, oh, just because once again, it's old. And because I had to use it, put it under load, it just shit itself. Yeah. So I put a new tensioner in it and then... This is this is only the beginning. This is only the tip of the iceberg of what happened to us. Put a new tensioner <laughs> in it. Road tested it. It was all good. 
Yeah. Then there was a rattle in it too, and it was just I found something was loose. I just get really tightened it up, fixed that. That was yeah. all right. And then was the next one happened at Nelson's Bay? Yeah. So then we were like, we finally thought the van was fixed up, and we're like, let's go just to the bay for a few days, drive it around a lot, make sure it's all good. And yeah, so we're in the bay for a day and a half, and everything was perfect. We're getting so stoked that we're going to be back on the road again. When the AC stopped working. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was it was killing me. And then I was like, I was like, no, I just had it. I was like, I'm not looking at it. I'm not looking at it. I'm done with it. This is Yeah, he's like, bullshit. let's just take it somewhere. Someone yeah. else can fix it. And we were, I was trying to think, like, he was trying to think, like, was it something? Did he touch anything when he was replacing the inlet manifold? Or was there something else, like, that he did? And couldn't think of anything. Well, I did have to move some lines a little bit. And I was like, mm. I wonder if... Because I didn't disconnect it. And I was wondering if moving it had bent or cracked something. And yeah. So, anyway, couldn't couldn't see the leak. Got home. Um, I was like, I have to fix this before we go. We're going to need AC. Yeah. Um, and then... I checked to see if there was any gas in it. The gas was completely empty, so I knew yeah. there was a pretty big leak somewhere. So I ended up, I was looking everywhere. I couldn't find it. And right in, in behind the grill, the condenser there's, it was just like coated in AC gas. And I was like, shit, it's leaking out of the condenser. Yeah. So then, yeah, I ended up taking the whole front bar off. And then all the radiator support that goes around the front bar, everything yeah. had to come all off. All because get, of a little rock. To, yeah, oh, that's right. Yeah, a yeah. rock had hit the condenser. It that's, went through the grill, hit the condenser. You can see like a dent in it. So, um, so the gas started leaking out. And yeah, then, that's why it was leaking. <sighs> a tiny rock. So we'd been driving. We've driven the van for ages, like on bad roads and everything. Just in beautiful Nelson's Bay, like a rock gets it, <laughs> takes it completely out. We couldn't believe it. Yeah. Oh, and actually... During this time frame is when we found out Jackie was pregnant. Yes. Then we have a beautiful little surprise as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which was awesome. I think if the car didn't break down, we probably never would have... I mean, there's a chance she wouldn't have been pregnant. So it was like a beautiful little surprise. Yeah. We're or we so wouldn't have happy, yeah. been up. We would have had to drive back from wherever we were for like doctor's appointments. So it's been really good to be back. And the car's been broken nearly this whole time. And I've had the chance to go to like local doctors and sort everything out so yep. i'll be set for when the baby comes yeah so that was an awesome little surprise but i feel yeah. like something's trying to stop us from traveling well, that's what we thought like <laughs> what's going on but yeah so i fixed the ac and i was like all right there's there's no way anything else can well, happen before you fix it we had to order in the new condenser oh, oh. Oh, strap yourselves in. <laughs> strap yourselves in for this part of the story. So, All right. we, we, I think you just called Mercedes. So, I called Mercedes yeah. because I was sick of driving in there. I'd been in there like a thousand times just to get yeah. random parts. So, I'd called them and I said, look, I need a condenser. This is the VIN number. Can you order me one? Can you get it sent straight here because I'm sick of driving in there. And like, yeah, yeah, we can send it to you. Just have to pay for shipping. And I was like, yep, yeah, saves the drive. Yeah. We get the part. And I was supposed to go to a buck show the next night and I was going to sleep in my van. So I was like, sweet, I'll get the van fixed and I'll go to the buck show. Hey, and then the condenser shows up the condenser, where everything's going The condenser good. shows up at like in the Arvo. So I was like, I'll fit it tomorrow morning. I go to fit it and the condenser is damaged. You wouldn't believe it. It's damaged. And I was like, it's... I was like, should I just f put it in anyway? Because only a little bit. And I was like, no, nah, I can't put it in because... Not where they cost like... What, yeah, was it was a new one from bucks? Mercedes was around $800. So oh, I was goodness. like, no, nah, I, I, I better take it back. So I ended up taking it back to Mercedes. They said, sorry, we'll get you a new one. And I said, all right, well, once it gets there, ring me, look at it, make sure it's good. And then I'll come and pick it up again. I'll come and pick it up this time once it's good. So they ring me the next day and they said, a well, day or two later, and they said... Oh, we've got your condenser here, but this one's damaged too. It's damaged. But it was damaged in a similar pattern. It was like the same, they said. So I was like, well, maybe it's a manufacturer fault or, you know. Yeah, and they're, and they're like, all right, we'll have to go. To, we'll have to order another one in and we'll see how we go. We've got, yeah. we've got another one in Melbourne. So they ordered another one and then they rang me up and said, look, this is damaged again. We can't supply you one. We can't get you yeah. one. It was actually a manufacturing fault on yeah. them. So they just it was a batch. A whole batch of them was yeah, made incorrectly. All of them. So, yeah. We're like, what the hell? So we chased up a third, uh, third party, uh, aftermarket one from Repco and it was heaps cheaper anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, we used that. Although putting it back in, everything was going great. And there was a part that just didn't, 
fit properly where the because it's aftermarket yeah where the hoses connect to the condenser so um i had to modify it i got some chisel and chisel out some of the <laughs> the metal to make it just fit a bit more flush so fingers crossed out there and actually oh does. it didn't end here oh yeah what else yeah it didn't end here it was um the solar panel oh. so <laughs> after we got the ac all done and everything <laughs> that's right We've been good for a while and then we're like, all right, we're getting ready to go again. Yeah, we're actually going to leave this time. I've told my work where I've been working casually like about a thousand times. Like, yep, yeah, this is my last week. No, this, ser- this seriously is. But but we're about to leave again and one of the solar panels wasn't working, which is huge because it's, it's a different angle to the other one. So we need them both to be working. We've got a yeah. massive fridge we run. <laughs> so, uh, so but For a second there, we thought it was like the... What's that thing called? The DC to DC. DC. Yeah, we thought um, that was broken. We're like, no, that's like expensive. No, we rang Enerdrive. They helped us again. They're, They're so good. Yeah. Highly recommend Enerdrive. Um, mm. So <clears throat> helpful. We, <laughs> I, I isolated the problem. They were like, just talk me through it. They said, you need to isolate the problem. So I did. Yeah. Um, I tested it with my multimeter. It wasn't getting any amps in, like in direct sunlight. It had volts, but no amps. So that, apparently that's pretty common for them. So I fucked it off. Yep. We got a new one put in. Well, I put the new one in. <laughs> I bought a new one and put it in. Yeah. And it's good as gold now. So everything Yay. now we're just we're just doing a few final touches and tying up loose ends and then we're heading to South Australia. Woo-hoo. We can't wait. And also in, in between all this time I've been working really hard on my video. So if you haven't seen it, check it out, please. Yes. I'm so proud of this and I've only got more more to do and more to grow. So yeah. I hope you guys like it. Yeah, so um, we're gonna go on the road for a another little while um just as long as me and the little bub inside my belly can we've handle been, it we've been calling it little pip little pip because it starts <laughs> off as like a little pip uh, yeah <laughs> yeah they said something like it was a size for avocado pip <laughs> avocado well the pip, pip. the when, pip when we first <laughs> is that oh is that why and then yeah. i said it's just little a little pip, pip. Yeah. and then yeah we just started calling it little pip oh, but yeah we're going to so be on the excited. road and hopefully get some really cool footage and see some awesome places so i hope you guys are excited to come along yeah yeah we're excited (laughs) and then when we get back we'll have a baby oh i'm so excited so we can't i can't wait just to start doing everything with my baby like we saw um oh congratulations to van life australia on having their baby oh my gosh so cute they're gonna be like what you know roughly a year yeah, well, yeah, okay. Yeah, we've still got to give birth to ours. Theirs will be like... Yeah, anyway, congratulations. About to roughly us. six months Yeah, older. okay. They're going to be about six months ahead of us. So I guess we can kind of follow them and what they're doing. See and um, they go. Yeah. So, yeah, we're super stoked for them, super happy. And we're super excited for when it happens to us. Yay. I can't wait. I love skateboarding and surfing and everything. And I just can't wait to help we'll do Little van baby to travel with us. And <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, we're going to get... We're going to settle down for a bit then get back on the road and... Yeah let them experience traveling with us and we're so excited can't wait yeah but that's that's about it that's our update is it don't want to drag this out out for too long (laughs) no i think (laughs) these poor people (laughs) (laughs) i think there's something else i wanted to talk to them about (laughs) well i've got you please send one (laughs) dollar no if you um, have felt sorry for us no (laughs) oh no 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 um any names? You got any names for our baby? Yes, baby we're d- names. Girl names, we're fine. Don't suggest any girl names. Well, we you got can it. suggest a couple. Any boy names? But definitely boy names. Oh, we're, we're struggling hard. Yeah. We'll we find. We will find out the gender, so then we can um, tell you. <laughs> <laughs> tell you. <laughs> Just cut that baby <laughs> brain. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to Relatable Roamers. Click the bell icon for future notifications on videos.